Okay, but remember, that's the next day after the baptism. And the next day, <laughs> Philip, Andrew finds Philip, and Philip finds Nathaniel and says, we have found the one that Moses wrote of in the prophet, in, in, in the Torah. Really? Who's that? Jesus of Nazareth. And, and Nathaniel says, anything good uh, come from Nazareth? And he says, what? Come and see. So you've got that going on. And then after you've got these people following Jesus, what happens? The next, the, the third day, on the third day, that's where John chapter 2 starts. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. Now when the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. Dear woman, notice it's the exact same address that he uses from the cross. Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, my time has not yet come. It's not time for me to be revealed. He hadn't even gone to the wilderness yet. He hadn't been tested, okay? Yes, he's, the, the Spirit of God has already descended upon him, but his time has not yet come. Verse 5, his mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. I love the King James there even better. Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. I like that. Do it. So, a mother can honor the Lord. And she believes and encourages others to obey the Lord. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Isn't that awesome? I just think it's awesome. Number four, she did not abandon him. We read that this morning. At the cross was his mother, Mary. Mothers never stop loving their children, and they never stop loving the Lord. Number five, she remained faithful to the risen Lord. One more time, I want you to turn with me to the scriptures. Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1, verse 14. Last one. They all join together constantly in prayer. Now, this is immediately following the ascension of Jesus. They all go back to Jerusalem. And then in 114, it says, they all join together constantly in prayer, along with the women and who? Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. His brothers are there now. By the way, do you know who his brothers are? This is interesting. James, Joseph, which is simply another form of Joseph. So he had a brother named Junior, can you imagine? So he had Joe Jr. So we got James, Joe Jr., Jude, and Simon. I guess they ran out of J's at that point. But anyways, even his brothers at this point were believers. But Mary was there. So what do we see? The last mention of Mary, the mother of Jesus, in the Bible. Certainly not by the Catholic Church. But the last mention of Mary, the mother of Jesus, in the Bible, is of her <clears throat> praying. How many hours, how many days, how many nights did your mother pray for you? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, I know absolutely that my kid's mother prays for them every day. How many hours, how many days, how many nights have you prayed for your children? If you have lost children, out of church children, or just children, and it doesn't matter how old they get, they're still your children. How many hours have you spent praying for them? So let's sum it up. Last slide. This is a very quick summary. Simple message. Christian mothers honor life, love their children, pray for their children, honor the Lord first above all, and they remain 
faithful. It's appropriate the last mention of Mary is her praying with the other disciples of Jesus. Because now she is just that herself, a disciple of Jesus. So mom, I ask you today, and dad, I ask you as well, son, daughter, brother, sister, I ask all of you, are you disciples of Jesus? And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Let's stand together.